Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Squad Ops community meeting. Uh, the date today is August the 10th, 2020. Um, we're going to do things like normal, uh, where we're going to do some uh, simple announcements by each team, followed by a uh, short Q&A. Um, feel free to start putting in questions to the uh, community meeting channel. Uh, also, we are also streaming on Twitch and YouTube, so uh, thanks to Wilbur for getting that going for us. We'll also take questions there. Um, so we'll go ahead and start off. Um, Arma is going to be our first subject for today. Squad Ops is hosting, hosted our first uh, open non-test Arma event yesterday. Um, we will continue to do two to four events a month in Arma for the foreseeable future. To give the comp uh, the community a variety of uh, immersive, tactical, and intense gameplay. To be part of the ARMA events, participants will have to have SOP Basic and ARMA Foundations. As uh, both of those together, uh, both are offered by the SOP team and have been posted on the calendar when available. In the future, SOP will base uh, will be uh, host Basic and ARMA, but currently we are only focused on our squad community and are allowing the path into ARMA events. There are no plans to host a public server for ARMA, as our focus is entirely on events in ARMA. Our overall community focus is Squad, and its future DLC and sister games like Postscriptum. Uh, our ARMA server, ARMA events are slightly more Milsim focused, and we have uh, three basic types, small, large, and spec ops. Small missions are based around one platoon with some smaller teams available. Large is a two platoon with a company headquarters with support assets. And Spec Ops is going to be limited to a to 20 seats with a very loose mission, mission structure on weapons, objectives, scenarios, and gear uh, are meant for a quick uh, event and weeknight playthroughs. They will have a uh, respawn currently, and we are looking at ways to balance the life of the player against the immersion and tension of battle. It may eventually go one life in these events. Uh, we're going to shift focuses over to Squad. So, uh, as you know, Squad has been updating recently. Um, many of you saw the roadmap. Uh, they did push back on that August 5th date on some of the stuff, but did eventually uh, release that stuff. Um, stuff like uh, that we've gone over in the ops cast, which we will also go over here soon. But uh, some stuff to keep going with on that roadmap. Uh, look out for some new maps and stuff, and we will definitely try to be uh, incorporating some of those. Uh, Squad Ops is very excited about the roadmap and all the future the future features of it in squad we will continue to incorporate these in our one life events host public servers with exciting game modes and continue training players in sot my dev has been working hard at the on the hardcore game mode mod and will uh continue doing updates uh and continue looking for those updates from odobi to expect to see uh expect to see that in the coming weeks um, we're going to uh, shift now over to Postscriptum. Uh, Squad Ops will continue to host events in Postscriptum. Um, and PS recently received another update. Uh, Mod Dev team is patiently awaiting the Postscriptum SDK. Uh, and mod dev or mod dev and mission dev waiting for sandbox mode. Uh, the community plans to run two events in Postscriptum a month and alternate days with Arma events. So one event will be on a Friday night session two time. One event will be Sunday session one for our European members. Postscriptum events have open registration for anyone, including those without BASIC. So, if you have friends who want to check out what we do, but don't want to do BASIC, 
these events are perfect for them. Hell at Loose. Currently, the various teams are watching the Hell at Loose progress. And if it will be uh, a platform which we can offer our One Life events in. Hell at Loose is still in early production. It doesn't offer some features that we need to run a quality One Life event. Their current server hosting structure and administration makes it extremely difficult to host events along with working around game modes and how to effectively work within these maps, layouts, and modes. We, however, will continue to watch the progress, and when we consider it close to what we need to run a test event or two to fill out if we think uh, we can provide the same quality event in Hell at Loose as we do in Postscriptum or Squad. Moving back to our squad and ARMA stuff, we do have a new squad leader feedback form. After every operation, if you can, leave a good slash bad feedback if you feel uh, for your SL to help them learn and grow. That would really help us out. Um, please keep an eye on the Squad Ops channel. After the fact, I will be posting uh, everything that I'm talking about here. Uh, including some other stuff um, relevant to what's going on tonight, guys. Um, we're currently uh, rebooting Opscast. Uh, you heard that a couple weeks ago with me, myself, Dorf, Silas, and Nuclear Twister. Uh, it was a lot, a lot of fun. I uh, hope we continue to doing that. It's going to be held at once or twice a month. Staff and regs. We'll talk about topics ranging from squad, gaming, PC, tech, sports, TV, and film. Basically, Squad Ops podcast. So, that's a lot of fun. Media team is looking for video editors. Two in particular there. Graphic editors, one a commentator, and two co-commentators. Media team has been hard at work converting the streams into videos, which are hosted on our YouTube channel. Thanks to Headbusta, we are once again posting three videos a week of past events. So give that a look. There are several new types of videos of events that are being held or being worked on and some promo reels as well. So stay tuned for those. Mission Dev is looking for ops ideas for our Jinx and Silent Serpent ops. Uh, I will post an example of that in the Squad Ops channel uh, here in a few minutes. Uh, remember, these are unknown ops until just before live, and both sides keep them somewhat simple. And each round needs to have one team doing roughly the same thing, being an aggressor or a defender. Mission Dev has also developed, with the help of several members of the community, our base ARMA mission maker guide, which over time will begin to accept missions from the public. However, currently we're using internal missions made by our staff and we can uh, tune the balance and work out bugs. Event team is currently looking for more able-bodied and willing people to help join our team. Uh, help us keep One Life operations mature, respectful, and fun for all those who attend. Uh, the staff app will be posted in Squad Ops channel soon. Mod Dev. Mod Dev has um, a Trillo, so you can watch their progress. Um, whatever bugs we're that they're working on will be pinned up there. Uh, we're also hiring, looking for the people who are willing to learn SDK on their own, with some help, of course. Uh, again, I will link that in the Squad Ops channel. Um, also, we have some leaks from Mod Dev. Uh, some stuff that they've been working on. Um, we have things like the AK-12, the uh, RPK-16, the Cornet Tiger. These are just some of the things that um, that they're working on. Oh, also a civilian van that will also be uh, included as well. Again, I will post these in the Squad Ops channel here in a moment. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much 
everything I have at the moment. Um, again, go ahead and start um, asking questions in the community meeting channel if you have any. If not, this will be very short. I'm going to let those go for a little bit while I post stuff in Squad Ops. Oh, also the Trello is posted in their um, mod dev um, reports channel. Um, I will also post that here as well in the Squad Ops channel. And lastly, last thing, guys, is a staff app. Uh, you can also find that in the README. So I'm going to start. Yes. One last thing from admin, guys. We have a public rotation survey uh, that will also be in the Squad Ops channel. Um, fill that out so that we can best help out our uh, our public server with some uh, some new stuff. See what you guys like. See what you guys don't like. All right, so I'm going to start going into the community meeting channel and reading some stuff off. Um, if you're on Twitch, I will get to your stuff momentarily as well. Um, Tinkerbell says, Arma, can we get a good radio setup document so we don't have to drive Phoenix crazy every game? Um, I can leave that as feedback. Um, see what we uh, what we can do about that. I know that's a little... Uh, a little frustrating every game. Some people aren't quite as well versed in it. Okay, it's already pinned uh, in Arma, and it gets shared with the announcements. Let's see. Love you too, Frost. Um, Headbuster says the squad ops or the spec ops stuff. Um, there's going to be loosely um, a loose kind of arma event where uh, it's not really a, a scheduled kind of thing. It's it's more of a complete this task kind of stuff. But again, that's still in the works. Jenkins, for the Arma event, can we expect Helis to play a more crucial role in Arma events in the future, i.e. air assault types? I know Cass can pretty much ruin the experience for ground troops, but just flying and transport can be exciting. I know um, recently we've been doing test events, kind of testing stuff out. Um, I'm sure in future, since we're now rolling out uh, actual missions, in the future we'll uh, 
we'll continue to use the transports and stuff like that. But right now, I, I think it's a a bug issue that we're trying to make sure we're not getting uh, sidetracked by having to heal people up immediately on mission start. Are custom maps ever going to be real imp implemented in some operations? There's been some uh, repetition of late Soldier Wolfie. Uh, yes, um, so the problem with that is OWI keeps breaking the mod with um, the different updates that they hand out to us. So that is the issue with putting our own uh, ops maps in there. We would love to use them. Um, but right now it's just it's just not we're not able to. Uh Mars Ops coming back frenzy. Um to my knowledge, I think the Mars section has kind of been forwarded on to Arma. I don't know if any other person in here has any better answer for that than I do. Yeah, they're coming back. Waiting coming back? 100, 100 person servers, updates. Yeah, they'll they'll come around again. Okay. Thank you, Xbit. Banana Buck is the application for the video editor in the staff application. Yes, uh, you'll fill out the application for media team. Okay. Uh, in the Twitch chat, some guys are asking about basic. Uh, everything you're going to need to know is in our uh, hashtag readme. Um, if you're new to this community, that is the best way to um, to make sure we have you have all the information you need. All that information is there, and also you have the the help channels as well as as well as the SOT help channel that you can ask questions directly to the SOT team or to uh, staff members if they are uh, if they are wanting to or if they have uh, the answers that you need. Uh, from Young Savage, will we have any Arma Ops that last more than one day? Uh, I assume, like Chaka says, you're, you're talking about a campaign. Um, I'm sure it's not out of the question. Darth current plans for 2020. Uh, kind of just doing our same thing. We're 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 starting up that the armor stuff again. Uh, like like we were saying earlier. Um, postscriptum, trying to make sure that's becoming a more regular thing. Um, just trying to kind of diversify right now because again, squad is is with its updates and everything. It, it makes it kind of hard to run a smooth operation. And we kind of just feel like uh, we want to branch out just a tad. Obviously, still keeping our core uh, squad as operations as squad. Uh, that's not going to change. Um, Roman, I don't know if you uh, you heard, but he asked... Are we uh, going to start doing events on other days, considering we're adding ARM and PS? Yeah, it's like um, we're going to keep the Saturday, Saturday and Wednesday for ops. Um, what we will do is is uh, change out ARMA and PS missions on Fridays and Sundays. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, again, anything... Anybody asking about staff spots, spots just apply, and uh, you'll be reached out to if uh, if you are accepted in. Young Savage, is there any plans for a public Arma 3 Zeus server? No. Um, I, like I said in the Arma section there, uh, we are strictly staying to our event server. Um, Right now, that is not anywhere in the in the forecast. It 
Let's get those questions in, boys. If you got any questions, any questions at all, we are here to help and answer those for you. What is Squad Ops about? Squad Ops is our sole uh, purpose is One Life events and squad, as well as doing some armor events and postscriptum events. Um, you seem to be new, so uh, go ahead and check out the hashtag README and get some more information there. Dar, so basically, if Offworld keeps pushing updates every week or so, we'll never get back to playing the mod. Um, uh, no, that's not necessarily true. Um, it's, it's just a, a, a fact of these bigger updates that they're changing their, uh, their engine or something tweaking in the engine that is happening. Uh, we've dealt with this for the past almost two years, three years now, I, since we've had the mod to where certain updates will, will break the mod and we find a way to, uh, to continue um, running these operations um, and hoping you know the mod gets fixed soon. Um, it's just a little more. Uh, it's just very time consuming is the issue. So, nuke potato. Is there any anything being done to help the low turnout in the past few ops? I know not having a full server can make the experience not as fun. Uh, so that one with. Um, with it being summertime, uh, we we don't see the the numbers like we do when it, there's there's school around. Um, people are out, people are about. Uh, I know this year has been especially different. Um, it's just how it goes in the summertime, guys. Um, there has been a. There's been too many. I would say there's been a lot going on in the world, so I, I wouldn't I wouldn't chunk this up to anything other than summertime and and we're just waiting on school to start and that's when it'll start. Uh, we'll start seeing those numbers pick up again. If you can see, it, if we continue to have issues a month from now, then we'll start worrying about what else we're gonna do. Exactly. Um, Young Savage, is there any plan to reintroduce the penalty for missing ops for the that you have signed up for? So with the bot, it's very uh, it's very easy for us to just pass over people who are not present. Um, that was a main issue whenever there was no bot um, to automatically pull people, and it would be obviously you would you could tell it'd be quite annoying to. Going every time, just have to keep skipping people. So for that question, I'm going to say no at this time. Keep sending in those questions, guys. We're going to go a little bit longer if there's no more other questions. Tinkerbell, I think we could have some more armor-centric ops. So this this issue or this uh this question, um, we like the uh infantry ops, um, mainly because every person can have fun in their own way. Um, in an armor op, sometimes a person can. Can just yeah I understand uh, not all of them just just more of them um, it's something that's been talked about over the past couple of months uh, it's just we're trying to make sure that everybody involved is 
is getting that one life experience. And sometimes when you're in a, a tank as a driver or as a crewman, um, you know, uh, you just don't get that one life feel and you're, you're, some people don't, can't play every op. So, um, that's the balance we're trying to get. So um, when you see those those armor centric ops, those those are pretty special. Yeah, like Roman said, uh, it it can be it can suck getting forced into a vehicle you don't really want to be in. So definitely understand that. Darth, maybe we can have some remastered old operations back in rotation, miss old ops. We actually do. Uh, I know XBit and the uh, mission dev team do a lot of revamping of old ops. And recently, because of mod issues, we've been playing those old ops. So, um, yeah, that is something that is definitely being done. Uh, Young Savage Squad has the AA gun for INS. And I've never really seen it used in ops or public play servers is there any static weapons that can be used more in ops or maybe even by a main focus such as an a position i know there's a few ops that we have the aa position as a objective um in fact i see a guns used a lot in uh public servers as well so um i think i think it is used um and it, it is used as an objective and i think more than one op Jenkins, are more Arma Op mods ever going to be added to the mod set? Or are we going to be stuck with the current mods we have? Dorf says yes, we are going to be adding mods. Uh, it's it's a balancing thing and trying to figure out what is uh, best for what we want to do as a community. Um, and the guys working on the Arma missions right now, they are uh, the ones trying to figure that out. So... To your, answer your question, yes, we will be as soon as we figure out that they're good to go. Couple more questions and we will uh we'll go ahead and say goodbye for the night, guys. Block F16, any thoughts on how One Life events end? Seems like fighting starts, defenders, Alamo, and then fighting over a single point, while Dwarf hiding in a building with 20 kills. Dwarf doesn't get 20 kills every time. Don't pump his ego. He doesn't need any more of that. Only asking because I haven't been around since the beginning thoughts. So, um, there are a couple different victory scenarios and different ops. Um, sometimes event admins are the ones that just want to, um, that kind of set the victory conditions. Um, sometimes you guys don't know or, or may not know, but in, uh, some missions we have, uh, we're able to end the op or continue out to the, the final, um, just dependent on how the game is going and if it's dragging or whatnot, but. Um, there's definitely different scenarios, uh, we have in our ops. Young Savage, any plan for Arma certifications for pilots and armor crews? Um, I'm not sure. I, I think the pilots... I'm not sure about anybody have any other uh answers on that on the uh pilots in Arma. Uh nothing yet, but things may come down the road. You heard it here first. Tinkerbell, is there a scoreboard in Arma? Um not for our events. They they turn that off. Um at the end of the mission, you do get a one, but you got to uh, to get on it pretty quick.
Fuck. F-16, y'all bringing back CQC course or any other advanced courses? Uh, I do believe there are some in the works from SOT. I don't know if the SOT representative has anything else to say, if there are any in here even. But um, I think that's something they're working on. Again, uh, mod issues. They have uh, a layer in which they use for that stuff. And um, I think that that is a main issue with it. But um, I would I would think that that is something they want to come back. Darth, I think event admins can be a bit stricter time-wise. It seems now only a announcement gets made, but no time. How did you say my name? What? What? I said Darth. No, they said Dorf. Jesus, dude. <laughs> announcement gets made, but no time limit, so people feel the need to move as such, which can take a long time. Yeah, we we try to corral. Uh, it's, it's kind of like, uh, herding cats sometimes, but, um, we try to make sure that guys get where they need to be to get in the action, especially later in the rounds. I know, uh, Wednesday ops as well. Go ahead. Yeah. I just want to say on that, um, sometimes when you have public players and, or regs, uh, not to drop, call any of you out, even staff, I guess can do it. Um, it's. Everyone wants to stay alive. No one wants to die, even if they're the last guy alone or last guy alive. They still want to try and get like five or six kills before they go down. So they maximize their advantages. But that, as you know, Darth, that is a time killer for everyone else, especially on a Wednesday. But yeah, I, as the event team manager, I do try to instill in my guys to make things happen in a timely manner. Um, we track it quite a bit, but, um, you know, sometimes we just fail at that task, but hopefully we, we can do better. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say we're going to shoot for another two or three minutes. If you have one last question, I will take it. And then after that, we will end tonight's meeting. Leave me alone. Don't try to lure me into stuff, Dorf. <laughs> Any thoughts on doing a reg meeting to have a chance to discuss, to have a discussion with all the regs, get their feedback, maybe monthly or bi-monthly basis? So, um... That is something that we did uh, a couple of months back. Um, yeah, like Block said, we did a climate survey today. It's basically um, doing it on a uh, a paper scale for your regs um, instead of doing it in a voice channel. Um, again, you can always go to to staff members if you have anything that you need to bring up. or uh, I think he means more of a... Uh... Like a town One hall of, thing, well, yeah. Like the rig town hall. Yeah, um, that's something we can we can bring up and see if we want to bring that back. If there's a uh, if there's a need for it, um, definitely want to continue having our regs as the core of the community, and that's also why we're uh, branching out with some of the stuff we have been lately and doing reg events and stuff like that. Uh, Daniel asked what I'm wearing. Um, no. What am I drinking? Nothing, actually. It is a weekday. I don't do it on weekdays. Bad. What am I eating? I'm not eating anything currently, but uh, that's a good question. 
my favorite cereal. All right. Um, probably Frosted Flakes. Why don't I love Chanka? All right. I think this is where we need to end now. Uh, what happened to Multistream? That's a good question. Um, that is something I'm not too sure about. Anybody it's a have? technical. It's a technical issue. We don't have. We have one or two people who can do it, but they don't always have the time to do it. Uh, it's or the ability. Of... And it's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, machine, ex mach machine intensive. So, um, no, Chanka. They, they will be streamed, but probably not commentated in the same fashion. Never. Yeah. The most you're going to see from a, uh, Arma stream is me or someone else doing our POV. Yeah, so you get to hang out with Door for a whole stream. I know that's a whole lot of fun. All right. I think we're going to end it here, guys. I do appreciate all of you for uh, for coming out. Uh, people on stream, people on Twitch, YouTube, thank you for coming out. Uh, guys in the channel here, I appreciate it. I appreciate all your questions. And, uh, again, reference the Squad Ops channel for the stuff that I have uh, linked in there. And, um, yeah, any questions, you can go on our general helps or um, stuff like that. But until next time, thank you guys, and we'll see you guys soon.